Good morning, everybody. John Bonham here, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. How's it going? Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Decked out in the red. It's not a Valentine's shirt, but it's red. Uh, so I got a lot to cover here. I'm going to try to get through all this stuff in the beginning rather quickly because I always take forever. I know. So real quick, I'll go over what I'm going to be shaving with. Um, Curtis George did an East Coast West Shavers uh, event again. He did uh, have your spouse pick your uh, Valentine's Day setup for your shaving gear. And my wife was going through my stuff. And I was, I had my back to her in the, you know, where, uh, where we were talking, I was going to say in the bedroom, that's where I keep my, my shave stuff. And she just stopped talking and she goes, you have uh, queen of hearts shave soap. I said, yeah, completely forgot. And I'm like, is that what you're picking? I'm guessing. She goes, well, yeah, I mean, obviously Valentine's day. So, just pick Queen of Hearts. I'll be doing that. And um, so Queen of Hearts just has the aftershave splash with the soap. So I decided to pair it. It's a little close. It might muddle the smell, the scent of it a little, but that's all right. I'm going to be using Barbershop pre-shave and uh, post-shave balm with that. So one thing I will say, though, when she picked the razor, she knew that I had just used it, that it was new. Um, she knew that I kind of wanted to keep using it. I had said the same thing I said on the video that I want to keep trying it out, garner a better opinion about it. And she also likes it the way it looked. So I'm using the Mag-T again with the same Astra blade. Second time I've used the Astra. So I thought that was a nice little surprise. So I have that loaded up. I already walked through it the last video. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Um, and then she picked... My Vylong horsehair brush, because it's red. And then I'm actually using a salsa bowl for my shave bowl. I've never used this on camera. It's in my shave bowl collection. Um, it actually works. The inside is pretty smooth, but this lip on the inside of it really um, agitates the bristles enough to make a pretty decent lather. So I thought I'd use that on camera. Plus it's red, added bonus. So let me wet my face. Uh, as I was setting up to do this, I heard the telltale sound of our mail truck and I got a nice little surprise in the mail that I was not expecting. Got my mustache hair out of my mouth. Sorry. Mustache still growing strong. Look at that. Getting there. Uh, so that's another thing. I want to do a quick little unboxing here. I got a surprise package from Irina at Ginger's Garden. So, I have no idea what this is. I think I might have a, a, an idea. And if it is what I think it is, I heard a huge thank you. Hi, Irina. On the off chance you watch this. Um, so, let's open this real quick. Don't think I'll need my... Yeah, I will. I didn't grab a special knife for this or anything. I'm going to use my Gerber tactical flip blade, whatever. I don't know what model it is. It's the one I always carry on me. It's my daily knife. Um, but if it is what I think it is, I'll tell you about it. What I'm presuming this might be is a shave soap and the label will have a cityscape on it in uh, blue and white colors. And I know that because hopefully I'm not an idiot and I was, yes, it's a shave soap. Uh, she sent me a sample a while back, a month, maybe over a month ago, two scent samples, just randomly out of the blue. She's like, I'm going to send you these. I said, oh, thank you very much. Got them. I liked them both, but one I really liked over the other, and I told her as such. Uh, I forget what the, it was a coded name. I don't want to, even if I knew it, if I could remember it, I wouldn't say it just because I don't know if she wanted that out. But I said, I like this one, the first one. She said, would you like it enough for it to be a, a soap? I said, yeah, if it were a soap, I'd, I'd be interested in getting it. So then we actually talked at length about a label and it was really cool that she involved me to that degree. I've never done really done anything like that before. Um, I, I'm doing something similar with someone else right now. But uh, so she made it a soap for me and I had asked her last time I talked to her, 
I even thought of the title of the soap. And we, she and I picked the label together. So she actually sent me the soap. I had asked her when she'd be done with it. She said, end of this week. I thought she meant, you know, ready for sale. And she ended up sending it to me. So I got to get the matching splash. But it, it uses um, Australian cedarwood. I'm pretty sure. Something from Australia. I'll have to go back and look. I think it was Australian cedar cedarwood. And I thought of the name A Night in Perth. And she picked that label. She sent a couple of label samples. She and I both liked the, the cityscape. And she made it, so. Can't wait to smell this stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a little stuffed up. I can smell it though, I just have. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Irina, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. That is a lovely gift. I gotta get the splash now. Thank you so much. Very sweet. All right. So that was a nice little surprise. I saw it was, I didn't even expect that. Nice little note from her. If you haven't tried her products, she makes really good stuff. And she will custom make you a scent and stuff if you're not familiar with her. So, good deal. All right, I'm gonna get to shaving it now. Six minutes. Six and a half. I already have the pre-shave oil on. I, I did a lot of different stuff than I did in the soap of the day. I added some stuff just for the soap of the day. I wanted to do, you know, the basic stuff, not add the whole, the whole thing. My whole four-piece shaving habit, which is the pre and post balm on top of the splash and the soap. So, all right. Hope everyone's having a good Valentine's. Oh, I love the smell of this stuff. Um, we had we woke up to snow. It was a nice little surprise. My kids had an hour delay at school, which is nice. Just enough to get them a little aggravated because they had hoped, obviously, for a full snow day. And unfortunately, it wasn't enough to warrant that. So, it is what it is, you know. I'm just happy it snowed at all. It's a nice little surprise. We got a lot more snow than I thought we would get. There we go. Wasn't adding enough water. It's been a while since I've used Sterling, so this is nice. It's a nice choice. Thank you, Jess. Queen of Hearts for Valentine's. I threw in a Queen of Hearts playing card for the Soap of the Day photo, too. Felt inspired. Mmm. Whoopsie daisy. Really got my nose in there, don't I? So. Sorry for the water, guys. used a horse hair in a while either interesting thing about horse hair brushes I learned pretty fascinating during World War one horse hair brushes shave brushes started a little miniature epidemic of anthrax amongst the soldiers during World War one because back in the day obviously they loved the boar and the badger hair by badger hair even World War one days was highly sought after because it's badger but during the war things started getting harder to obtain or impractical because of cost so they started using imported horsehair what I should do is go and see if that's when horsehair became popular was because of World War one that'd be pretty badass I almost said gangster I don't know why I <laughs> I was watching Dave Chappelle on YouTube. That's probably why I decided to go that route. I, that's not a word I say a lot. Um, but yeah, they would import horse hair. I would imagine they were slaughtering horses for food. 
taking the hair and making brushes out of them. So these soldiers were using these un uh, sterilized horsehair brushes, nicking themselves and getting anthrax in the cuts and wounds on their faces after they shaved. They would get anthrax. So that's why they were banned, I guess, around World War One. That's pretty interesting, I think. I came across that by accident. I was looking up if other hairs were practical for shaving brushes. Because we're just, you know, all the years of shaving, we were, we added synthetics. And that's it. I was like, I wonder if there's any other horse, you know, horse, any other hairs that would be practical for shave purposes. I couldn't find anything, but wouldn't that be cool? Lion mane brush. Giraffe tail. Uh, I'm making PETA shiver in their boots just talking about it right now. <laughs> Out of anger. This isn't as thick as I would like it to be, so I'm going to add a lot more soap to my face. So, yeah. Valentine's Day, I got a couple surprises for my wife. It hasn't arrived today. I don't think it's going to arrive today. It's probably going to arrive tomorrow, which kind of sucks. I ordered it a little too late, but I went and bought a plaster cast kit. Comes with a bucket, comes with the, the plaster, or the mix, all of it. Comes with a wooden base. And what you do is you uh, you mix the plaster together. It's some of the stuff that you use to make a mold of something. And you put your you hold hands together and you put your hands down in this bucket and you it's like, or I'm sorry, it's this gel that you put your hands into, and then you mix the plaster after. You let the gel harden, make a mold of your hands holding hands, and then you put the plaster in it. Let the plaster dry and you take you peel the gel off of it, and then it's a plaster cast of your hands together, holding hands. And once that dries, you put it on that display case. She doesn't know I got it. I'm kind of, again, I'm kind of pissed off. It's late, but whatever. What you going to do, you know? So she's not the type to get mad that it's late. I couldn't be with someone that superficial. She's just happy I got anything at all. And she's mystified. Because I all I told her for a hint was that it's unlike anything I've gotten before. So she's like, oh. Because my wife isn't, thankfully, very materialistic. She likes stuff, but when I go get her a gift, she's more content with eating out or doing something with the kids than she is having a purse or a ring or something like that. Now, if I get her one, she's not going to turn it down or complain about it, but you know what I mean. So, kind of wanted to go out to eat tonight. Don't know if we will. She's having a rough day at work from what I've heard, unfortunately. Life doesn't care what day it is, you know. I'm having too much fun lathering, sorry. 13 minutes, damn. All right, shave time, guys, finally. And I'll, I'll do a quick shave. And then I probably won't do a post-shave routine. Get the chin hair out of the way. Bring this down. Mag tea. I was talking to John, uh, Yvonne Niffy there. I said, I think my opinion was a little crazy about this thing at first. I was saying I wouldn't use it on a daily basis or any of that. I have since had people asking me about it. Like someone said, they looked like they thought it'd be too big and bulky. I said, it's, you know, it's, it's hard to get used to it. But as you can see, I mean, I fiddled around with it a little. 
and hopefully you can tell now that I'm a lot more confident with it than I was before. And I decided to screw it and I do hold it on the sides, but not do the whole shave. I'm terrible. I like it. So I do take it back. This is now my third time using it. I used it one other time. Whoops. Forgot to lather for the next pass. Oddly enough, that didn't hurt. Which is good. I don't think I've ever used a horsehair brush with sterling either. This lather isn't as nice as I usually like it, especially for sterling. I don't think I'm doing it justice, but whatever. So now I'll say if you're thinking of getting this razor, go get it. $150, I'd say probably not. But 50 bucks. They knew what they were doing. Making this thing affordable. I mean, $50 for a curiosity. Just get used to the feel of it in your hand. And the difference in blade versus the comb. The teeth of the comb. Because the blade's, like I said, about a millimeter. Maybe a millimeter and a half above the teeth. It doesn't come close to resting on the teeth. I know I tried. There we go. Get a better zoom. But it shaves amazing. What I need to do now is start using different blades in it. Because all I've used in it is the the Astra, and then the second time I shaved with it, I used uh, a Parker I had saved, Parker razor. But now I'm using blades that I know I, I like a lot. So this is, the, I'm using the Astra I used for the first video. And there's some right there. And I would say it's not too aggressive. It's more aggressive. It's an open comb razor. And it's a heavy open comb razor. But again, it's not as aggressive as, any, as other ones I've used. Again, that Gillette I have. The 1920s Gillette is easier than the most aggressive razor I have. That thing tears me up. 20 minutes. All right. I don't think I need to shape. Whatever. I can shape later if I really want to. All right. I'm going to pause and rinse off. Be right back. Hello. I am back. So, one thing I thought of real quick I wanted to say is I'm, I'm doing the thing with uh, Ginger's Garden. I'm doing something similar with someone now. Um, for the near future, which is far more personal. Um, so this person, I didn't want to give them the impression that I did not appreciate what we're doing, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm trying to be very vague, but meaningful at the same time, which as it turns out is very hard to do. Um, Irina, thank you for that opportunity and for doing that. That was very sweet. Definitely nice of you sending me the soap. I didn't expect that. But other person, you know who you are, if and when you watch this, um, uh, it's, it's something that I'm really looking forward to and I cannot wait. And um, for what it's worth, that began before this thing with Irina did. So really appreciate it. So, all right. Coffee. 
and it really is coffee. I had someone ask me if it's truly coffee. I don't know if you can see, it is. Um, I don't drink, so. Not booze, maybe I should do Kool-Aid, like Burt Kreischer. You know when you watch this Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer, the uh, Two Bears, One Cave podcast, is pretty funny. Tom Segura started laughing his ass off because Burt Kreischer drinks like a two 64 ounce Gatorade bottles a day. <laughs> oh, That's some good splash. Oh, Ooh. That smells good. I've never used Queen of Hearts. I have it. I've never used it. I bought it because it caught my eye. I saw someone else using it on Instagram. I had seen it before. For some reason, I thought it was meant for a female demographic. And I saw a guy using it. And I said, how's it smell? And he was like, wonderful. So, hey, whatever. Might as well get it then. It's sterling. Uh... I know I said I wasn't going to do the after, but whatever. 21 and a half minutes. And I'm using the barbershop post shave balm. So, hope everyone's good. Oh, real quick, I want to show you a little bit of redness, tiny bit, but that's going to go away. That's the normal. No matter what I use, no matter how I use it, I, my skin gets red. It's a matter of if it goes away or not. That's the big, the big thing. And with this razor, it will. It did last time, and I did a lot less to my face this shave with that razor than I did the last video. I was all over the place with the last video, trying to trim and shape up and doing all that, and it wasn't red then, which I couldn't believe. That's what made me think that I had judged it a lot harsher than I should have. So... What I said last video versus now, it's it's not as aggressive, obviously, because my face would be torn up. It is aggressive, not terrible. I'll stick to that you need to get used to it a bit. I mean, you saw the handle, the shape of it and all that, but it's a good razor. I like it. So I do take back, if I had to throw it in my rotation for a week, I would throw it in. Definitely. Um, I do like it. $50 US shipped 49. I think it is. Um, it's a good deal. I think you should get it. If you, if you're thinking about it, don't get it just cause I'm saying to get it obviously. But if you've been looking at it and you've been like on the fence about it, cause it took me over a year to get this thing and I'm glad I did. So, all right. That's it for the Valentine's day shave. Irina. Thank you again. This is awesome. I'm going to have to post a huge thank you on Instagram to you for that one. If you haven't tried out Ginger's Garden Soaps, give her a shot. She's great. A lot of stuff there on her site. Um, yeah, that's about it. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you made it to the end, definitely. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hope everyone has a safe Valentine's Day. Take it easy. Till next shave. Have a good one.